Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a week ahead for Pisces. This is for the week of May 18th through the 24th. So what do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We're going to get an overall energy with this deck. Then we're going to use this deck for the reading. So what do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 18th through the 24th? Keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. Okay? So what do we have for Pisces for the week ahead? Can I have an overall energy, please? Thank you. Queen of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands is somebody that is very strong, sexy, enthusiastic, determined, friendly, optimistic, um, proud. She's a force to be reckoned with. Um, something about, you know, this woman may, she may go barefoot a lot. She may like to be barefoot. This is somebody who's very attractive, uh, uh, very comfortable. So the Queen of Wands is a desire. So somebody may have some sort of desire. Um, desire to leap, desire to take action. She usually, she takes action. She's very <clears throat> get up and go. Okay, exciting. It's an exciting energy of, it's an, it's an energy of excitement. Now, this is a dominant. The Queen of Wands is very dominant. She's very confident and courageous. I'm not sure who this person is. Could be any sign, but it's somebody that has a lot of uh, zest. Okay? So, hmm. Either if you are a male, that is who you're dealing with. If you are a female, you are probably taking on that energy of being, you know, a force to be reckoned with. This is a feminine, I believe, that is a force to be reckoned with. Um, Monday. Monday the 18th. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, please. <laughs> Queen of Wands on Sunday. Interesting. Okay, so... Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it absolutely doesn't have to be. This is somebody that is very, very attractive, okay? she She's um, putting out some high vibrations, put it that way. The moon reversed on Monday and the six of wands. So this is coming out of a battle. Being victorious, seeing clearly, a reality check on Monday, um, stepping out of fear. This is this is seriously something coming out. out okay, something coming out, and you. Um, this is a win. Okay, this is a win. Like there's no there's no fighting. The fight is over. You win. You win. That's the that's the reality. The reality is is that you're not going to fight anymore. You're done fighting. Perhaps that's the reality on Monday. Something to do with the moon reverse. That's a reality check. The truth coming out. Truths are being revealed. This fight is over. The competition is over. I'm done. Okay? So some sort of truth is going to be revealed on Monday and it's going to, uh, maybe you're going to be recognized. This is public recognition or you may be, you may be getting the hell out of there. Okay. Because it looks like that horse is moving. You're, you're out. You're done. If you think about the five of wands, that's about competition, fighting, pettiness. It's over. The fight is over. So on Monday, this is like the truth coming out and the fight is over. We're done. There's no more fight left. It's over. This battle is over. On Monday however that resonates with you so something is going to be revealed that uh, this causes somebody to 
believe by the looks of them. I'm not doing this. I'm not playing this game. Five of Wands, playing games. I'm not playing anymore. Okay, I'm not playing. I'm done. It's over. The game is over. So Monday, a reality check of some sort. Truth is going to come out on Monday. Hmm. Tuesday. This is headed out. Monday, somebody's headed out of a deceptive situation. They're done playing games on Monday. You're, you win. This is I win. You win. You win. Battle is over. Tuesday, page of coins and the seven of wands. Page of coins. This is a new opportunity on Tuesday. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. But this is a new door opening, a new opportunity, starting, uh, laying a new foundation, setting goals, a new enterprise. Um, feeling, I mean, the Seven of Wands reversed is feeling powerless. Opening up, perhaps, letting your guard down to something new. We have a new opportunity here. This is definitely a new golden opportunity that could grow into something solid. Probably, maybe it's one of the competition, it's one of the competitors. It's making a choice, perhaps, on Tuesday. Maybe you have several options. This is feeling overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with starting over. Perhaps you're overwhelmed with starting over because maybe you're leaving something on Monday or something. And this is being overwhelmed, feeling like everybody's pointing at you, you know, because you want this fresh start, because you want to broaden your horizons, because you're doing this, you know. You may have people that are jealous of you or they're not happy with your decision or whatever, you know. Maybe maybe everybody's contacting you and they're saying, what did you do? It goes from the Six of Wands, you 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 left, right, or whatever this is. You, you made a move or whatever you won and now it's like you, you don't want to fight you, you're going in a, down a new path and perhaps everybody's contacting you and they're saying what'd you do what happened Tuesday now this is a this is a golden opportunity the page of pentacles is a new opportunity that can grow into something really solid in long term this is investing in a new beginning accepting the challenge even though you probably have some people that are like why did you do that but you have to honor yourself okay you're headed towards towards victory okay the six of wands you're seeing things as they are you're being honest you're being true on monday Okay, and, and you know, on Tuesday, new doorways are opening. You're going down a new path. Perhaps somebody's offering you something, something solid. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed. Maybe there's people that aren't supporting your decision. Well, fuck them. Anyhow, excuse my language. Uh, Wednesday, two of coins and the eight of swords. You definitely got somebody that is jealous of you. The eight of swords reverse, that is jealousy. Um, you know, I think that you are finally removing obstacles that have kept you stuck. I think you've been trapped. You've been in a situation where you are feeling alone. You were feeling, t feeling tied down. Maybe you were tied down. Maybe you were confined. You had to make a choice. You know, what are you going to do? I think you were, you're needing to adapt to a change on Wednesday. You're free. This is like freedom. And you're probably feeling, maybe you're feeling like a child again. Like, oh my God, I'm fucking... I'm fucking, I'm free. You know, I don't know if that's the case, but this is free. And then the, the two of coins is a choice. It's a decision. You're trying to adapt, trying to be flexible, needing to balance, needing to obviously take another step. Be careful. Don't, don't try to do too much all at once. Maybe you just need to go slow. Don't but try to bite off more than you can chew. You're probably trying to find balance on Wednesday because you're no longer trapped in the situation that was keeping you stuck. So I think Wednesday is a day of finding balance, trying to deal with all of life's ups and downs. I think that, you know, you're, you may be even balancing your books, balancing out the changes that you're experiencing. Wednesday is a day of finding balance after being 
uh, taken outside of your comfort zone, stepping outside of you, cutting the ties with something. I feel like you have broken free from something, and on Wednesday you're you're starting to find balance again. You're you're trying to figure out how to adapt to whatever this change is on Wednesday. On Thursday, Nine of Swords, which is worried, 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 worried. Anxious, having a hard time, maybe feeling paranoid, maybe having regrets, maybe having even, you know, um, maybe even some sadness on Thursday. You may be feeling alone, you know, maybe you're wondering if you made the right decision, but I think you probably did. I, you may be worried about no communication or things not moving forward. I think it's just a worry because this is positive news coming in on Thursday. Uh, good news, okay? Something happening fast. Messages going back and forth. They may, you may be worried that this isn't positive, but it is. Okay, so Thursday there's going to be messages. There's going to be communication. You may be paranoid about them or you may be feeling sad, but I have to tell you the Eight of Wands is a very positive energy. So there's there's positive uh, movement forward even though you may be feeling, you may feel guilty on Thursday. Maybe you feel guilty or you feel sad because you wanted success, because you wanted to move forward. You know, don't feel guilty. You have to do what's right for you. So, Saturday, King of Coins reversed, and the Hangman reversed. So you could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Pisces, another one. You can be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with anybody because we all take these energies on. But this is wanting to focus or needing to focus on your money. Uh, the King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is very spendy, makes poor financial decisions, or is only interested in money, sex, and drugs. Does things illegally. Does things corrupt. So, um, needing a new perspective. What's this, Saturday? Yeah, this is Saturday. The hangman reversed. This is struggling, refusing to go in, struggling to let go, uh, not learning a lesson. So this is somebody with, with a big ego. On on Friday, I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, but this is somebody doesn't doesn't have a pot to piss in, or they do and they're very greedy. It could go vers vice versa. Um, but needing a new perspective. You know, it's not about materialism, a materialistic things. So we may have somebody, this is this is needing a new perspective, the hangman reversed. There's greediness here on, on Saturday. There's, there's um, obsession. There is an egotism. There's egotism on Saturday. Somebody needs to uh, let go. Let go of the need to to have it has something to do with money. Need to let go. Saturday, there is there could be a loss. There could be a financial loss on Saturday because of somebody's ego. Just being honest with you. Now this is this is not learning a lesson. It really is. Refusing, refusing to change anything. We have on Saturday. We have somebody that I gotta get another card. Hold on. Saturday, the hangman reverse. That's that's refusing to go within, refusing to change, refusing to look at things from another perspective. The King of Pentacles reverse is somebody that is very stubborn, very very stubborn right here. We have stubborn energy on Saturday, being very very stubborn, and this stubbornness could cause you to miss an opportunity. That's what that is, too. You're, somebody may miss an opportunity because of stubbornness. Yes, sir. That's what it is on Saturday. Let me get another card. Woo! Nine of Cups wanting to have it all. This is overindulging. Having plenty but wanting more. Oh, we have selfishness here. Saturday, there's wanting more, and it could get somebody in trouble. It could. It really could. One more card for Saturday. Two of Cups reverse, losing a, losing out on a relationship, losing out on a partnership. There's disharmony in a partnership because we of greedy 
greediness, losing out on love because of money, choosing money over love, choosing money over a partnership, choosing it. Hmm. Refusing to change, refusing to uh, give energy to love or something like that. Needing to let go of a partnership. Needing to let go of a partnership that you may be hanging on to just for financial reasons. Maybe it is letting go in search for wish fulfillment. Something is going on on Saturday because this is wish fulfillment. I want to have it all. This is not being practical. The king of coins in reverse is somebody that is not being responsible, not being practical, not being realistic, lazy, stubborn. You have a stubborn individual here who is not putting effort into a relationship, but they want to have it all. Interesting. One more card for Saturday. There could be a split or a breakup or a fight even. King of Wands. Yeah, somebody could get angry. Definitely, there could be a fight. There could be a choice between two. There could be a choice between two men. Okay? We have two men here. Two, we do. Or between two people. And there is two. There could be a choice between two people on Saturday. There is an opportunity for wish fulfillment and for extreme happiness and to have it all. But you're going to have to make the right choice. And be willing to change. Be willing to open up. Be willing to let go of something on Saturday. So Saturday may be a day of choice. And somebody could get angry. They could, they're could. they very self-centered. Very unreasonable. There could definitely be a conflict on Saturday. Somebody may get upset. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that is very that has many options that has all kinds of options and you know that person needs to make a choice but that person will make a choice based on who gives the most attention okay let's move on to uh sun wait a minute here monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday that was friday not saturday but I said Saturday, so it could have been Saturday. Or this is Saturday. Six of Cups reversed versus the Four of Wands reversed. And now this party is over. The honeymoon is over. There could be a separation with the Six of Cups reversed and the Four of Wands reversed Saturday. It feels like we got a problem here. I feel like there's another woman. If, the, if, if you are a man watching this, there's another woman that has sparked your interest. Because the Queen of Wands will, re will represent another woman in a reading. If you're the woman watching this, your man may have interest in another woman. I feel like there's another woman here this week. And this woman is very attractive. She's very alluring. And there's an opportunity, you know, to move towards this woman. And whoever the person is that is, whether it's you, somebody is moving towards another woman. And they're, they're letting go. This is packing up, leaving home, splitting up, breaking up. I can't pretend. Now, this is Saturday. This is, this is a discontent, uh, you know, nothing to celebrate. This party is over. It's a messy situation. The honeymoon is over. There's, there's, uh, this is freedom from obligation, packing up and leaving home. Okay. We have somebody here that has selective memory. Uh, but nothing stays the same. So this is this engagement is over on Saturday. That's what it looks like. It like this is not happiness. Okay. I'm sorry. So Sunday, Sunday. I mean Saturday. There's discontent at home. Somebody could be could be packing up and leaving on Sunday. And I, there's definitely another person that has sparked somebody's interest, whether it's you or you're the person you're with. Queen of Wands on Sunday and the Eight of Coins. Now, the Queen, we already talked about the Queen of Wands. This could be your other person. This is somebody that is very attractive, a force to be reckoned with. This is a, a seer, perhaps, a seer or visionary, somebody that is very productive, somebody that is very confident and courageous, strong, determined, successful. Um, but the Eight of Coins not putting in effort. So on Sunday, we may have somebody here that is just uh, sitting back and waiting. She's waiting for somebody to put in effort. This other person is just waiting. She's obviously, she's she's a force. She's, she's confident. 
but this is not putting in effort, not trying hard enough. So we have somebody here not putting in effort. Let's get one more card. The world, we do have a new beginning though. This is leaving the past behind, stepping into a whole new life, giving up on somebody. This is giving up. Sunday, this is giving up and stepping into a new life. This is a brand new beginning. Um, somebody has, they. it's very stubborn energy on Friday. Thursday is feeling guilty, but communicating, maybe it's guilty for communicating or socializing with this other person. But by Sunday, this is literally leaving the past behind. Finding the strength and the courage and the confidence to leave the past behind and step into your new life. So Sunday, we have a new beginning here. Okay? This is freedom. It really is freedom. The world card is freedom. You've learned some sort of lesson. Something has caused your evolution. There's a change of resonance. Somebody's moving. So somebody's moving this week, Pisces. And you know, I made you guys first this week. Good luck.